the other day Esther quite often will hand a $20 bill out the window to someone who's standing there with a sign and often she knows that they're just part of some business and they're gonna take it off and do something else with it but she gets an impulse sometimes it's really strong so the other day there's a man standing over us and she is turning left and there's a car between the man and Esther and she realized she had time because the light had just turned red for her and so she rolled down her passenger window and she honked the horn and she said come this way and he came and he stuck his head in the passenger window and she handed him a $20 bill and gave him a thumbs up she wanted him to move so that he didn't get run over he was so excited when he realized he had money and quite a lot of it and he ran into McDonald's <laughs> and Esther thought this was the most satisfying thing I have felt in a really really long time and she had decided she was going to go get some juice that morning there are infinite places that she could get juice why was that the one that was inspired to her she knows for sure that she was going to be a step two part of somebody's step one asking that she was going to get to be that and when it manifested she felt the exhilaration of all the non-physical angels if you want to call it his inner being her inner being everybody in on how this was going to work out for him and for her that's just what makes the world go round you're all giving and taking and helping and receiving and being a step one and step two but the more you find some way to be in step three then the more you get to be in on it in on life alive Esther wasn't all cocky and proud I'm just handing out money here and there she was following inspiration and got the big manifestational payoff this guy was hungry and he went and got something to eat and doesn't that feel good to be a facilitator in something like that don't you want to be the answer to people's questions and the solutions to their problems don't you want to be so tuned in don't you want to be a steady stream of pure positive energy don't you like being the messenger don't you like your timing to be perfect don't you like to be in that place where you get the impulse and Esther didn't go looking for him she didn't know he was going to be there she's never even seen anybody in that area before it was just excellent excellent timing and all of you, if you want to call it angels, knew that it was.